Well, an update, a presser yesterday they did to talk more about the horrible events of Monday. And I wanted to share with you one critical piece of information because the investigation into that carnage uh, was the focus. We learned those guns, two guns the guy had, purchased legally. Listen to this. We can confirm that the shooter had two handguns on his person when he was located. Those handguns are both 9 millimeter. He also had additional magazines and ammunition on his person. Our investigative team did work with our federal ATF partners to trace those weapons. And we have learned that they were purchased legally by the shooter, but they were not registered. Now, what's important about this, because a lot of folks are focused on this as they should be. The killer was arrested in 2019 on a concealed weapons charge, a five-year felony that could have had a two-year enhancement on it, from what I understand, talking to uh, firearm attorneys. That didn't happen. He didn't have a criminal record except for some traffic stops and minor stuff. So it was pled down to a misdemeanor. He served probation and then bought those guns legally. But here you have Democrats screaming about gun control and new gun laws and everything else. And yet when people are charged with serious gun crimes, they're not held to account. But there's no lesser included charge in Michigan. Maybe a lesser included charge of aggravated gun possession with a minimum five-year prohibition on possession. Maybe something like that. Something like that would have prevented potentially this from happening because he purchased both of those handguns legally two years after being arrested for a felony firearm charge. That gun, by the way, is still in the possession of the Lansing Police Department. He never got it back. 